I love the candles. It's so funny. Is your focus acting up again? Nah, it's fine. I can take a look if you want. Nah, usually works if I just flick it a few times with my thumb. <laughs> Varl looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much metal. Yeah, they don't do metal. The Utaru. Oh, this chair is hurting my butt now. <laughs> You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his I beauty. love him. <laughs> I I think he's my favorite so far. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, I should probably go. I shall return to our training then. How come Aloy always feels so awkward? But I, I guess it makes sense. She's still kind of learning to have friends, but still. Why is that? What is that? What is it like? Okay. Um. Oh my gosh! She's like decorating the place. Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zul's oh. room, Aloy. Ow. <laughs> I believe they wanted private accommodations. I said that makes sense. Listen, I didn't know. What it's like being in space. It sounds very lonely, if you ask me. I love hearing my friends talk. Holograms. Gaia, I thought you said the data here was lost. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. Is that a hologram of a ship? That's adorable. <laughs> Looks like Arendt and Catalo moved their stuff in. Well, how come they get the bunk room? Oh, okay, I see. Wait, yeah. So they get... One gets this side and the other gets this side? It's not super private, honestly. Or I guess they're just, they, they aren't taking up the whole sides. Like, one's right there, that's probably Katalo, and this is, yeah, this is, there's a keg in here. It's definitely <laughs> Aaron's. These beds, these rooms are so tiny, but the lovebirds get the big room. I see how it is. Where is Katalo? This should help. No good. Door's locked until Gaia can restore access. Is this for me? Huh. Looks like someone's rearranged stuff in here. Hey, Lloyd. I see you found your room. Oh. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. My friends are so nice. What the frick? And she is this food? She's left me food? Oh my gosh. So is the best. My old spear. <gasps> Rust helped me make it. When I finished my training. I'm gonna cry. That's like so long ago. Huh? I'm gonna cry, actually, legitimately. <laughs> I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here. Where it'll be safe. Okay, I was like, it's, it's, a, it's a jewelry thing, but I didn't know what was on it. This is the rite of passage that Vishav gave me at the Oh. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. He did. I hope... I think he was really looking forward to going he home. He was, and I'm, like, totally brokenhearted, legit. And I'm glad the game hasn't just forgotten him. I think he could have played, like, a really important role. But it's, like, really poignant that, like, I don't know. What we have is just, like, his legacy, essentially. Look at this... Oh my gosh, so she's put, she's put like rugs everywhere to make it like homier and less metal. She's put the candles up. She's brought the plants in. 
I know she probably had help, but she's amazing. I love that my room doesn't have a bed, and I'm just like, this is this is a nice spot though, legit. <laughs> this little corner. Do I need my anything from my stash? Doesn't look like it. Where is he? That's the exit. Oh, he must be with Gaia. All over the world, too. Anytime they want. Truly. Yeah, I don't know if I'd like that. I wouldn't want my aunt Alga knowing she could Oh, there he is. The my ears would pop off. Is this my workbench? Okay. Are you doing okay? I, I'm. Mm, I, this is a lot, especially if you haven't been exposed to me a bit. You know. Aloy, it's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the vision you keep in this place, Gaia, and gave me this focus. I, I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train. And went to fight. Welcome to the team, then. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus, it will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. He trusts me after not very long of being together. <laughs> You've had some time with the team now. Any thoughts? I admit, I was surprised to see Nutaru here. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. I'm told she rallied some in her tribe against the Karja and fought all the way to Baron Light. Interesting. Perhaps I'm mistaken. <laughs> I think he is very attractive. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should stop saying that. I just like his voice a lot. Like, I know it's like sort of probably painful to, to speak <laughs> by the voice actor, but... I don't know, he has an interesting perspective on things, too. The wings of the tent. Hey, is that give me flying power. You said the bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. That's all you're going to tell me? Fine. You promised! As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron ah. from the east side. Allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero. And I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Kulrut by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him. Like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. Ah. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Kulrut? Takote knew that if I survived the Kulrut, 
I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command. Even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Might, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever He just wanted to hang out at home. It was exile. Geist, as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal. And never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. Our paths wind and, you know, whirl, and sometimes, I don't know, I, I think of Thrawn right now, I don't know if any of you have read the Thrawn books, especially the most recent ones, where he talks about how paths branch in unexpected manners, um, and you think you're going one way, and then all of a sudden a drastic shift happens, and you end up somewhere else completely different, but like, you know, was it for the best? And sometimes it is, you know? So, anyway, <laughs> it's wisdom from Thrawn, I guess. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. Ah! Uh, <laughs> just the stoicism. Listen, I'm a sucker for that. <laughs> when we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Root. Dekka, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. And it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the Cool Root. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom. And the awe it must have inspired. Glory and freedom. I, whew, okay. I should go. Feel free to check in on Hikaru and your people. Doors always open here. I will. May the ten walk with you. I love everybody's particular phrasing of their cultures. It's so cool. It's so good. I don't have anything new to offer that. But I do. This episode's gone on for way too long. It's probably going to be too wowza wowza. Time to talk to Gaia. Technology really can be an amazing thing. Until it gets a mind of its own and uh, decides to kill mm -hmm. everyone. <laughs> You're just a ray of sunshine, aren't you? Only for you. <laughs> Only for you. Uh, it is. It is funny to hear Nora say that, right? They're very much like they don't. They don't mess with the old one stuff. So he's changed a lot, obviously. Or at least his perspectives had. I don't think he was as much of a stick in the mud as everybody else was, though. Welcome back, Aloy. Ah. When you're ready, please merge ether with I'm me. I'm ready. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with Do you. Do I get wings? I would love to have wings. <laughs> this is gonna be cool. Woo! So... What did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Oh, the clones. Aluthia. That's one of the sub-functions you couldn't detect before. Yes. Not clones. The transmission occurred so slowly the babies. that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. 
It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone Ooh. or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. I don't know. I, it would be interesting, honestly, if once we... Because uh, we have these three functions that we know where they are. And then I, we have the three that we're kind of missing. Um, Artemis, Eleuthia, and Apollo that we can't detect right now. And Hephaestus is all over the place. Um, and Hades is gone. Um, and Minerva's already acquired. Um, but it would be interesting if every time I unlocked one, like unlocking Aether, for example, now I have access to Eleuthia. Or at least potentially Eleuthia. And then if I unlock another one, maybe I get access to, like, Artemis. And then Apollo, potentially. When I unlock Poseidon. Or Demeter. Demeter. Demeter? Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at mm. all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so either Eleuthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there. Or it's the Zenith people. Or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. Knowing that I'm trying to that activate Gaia. Well. I think she's right, honestly. Because they know that I took the Gaia kernel and they took the other Gaia kernel. And so they're probably trying to get the stuff, the info that I have, honestly. Or destroy me. Or the new guy, you know, so. I bet you it's not actually Eleuthia, which is fine. Because her function is um, obsolete at this point. At least, I'm pretty sure. We're all here now. Yeah, there's plenty of humans around. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus... The Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So, maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. Or maybe it's Apollo or Artemis trying to communicate through Eleuthia frequencies because they can't do it on their own. And that would be interesting. We're going like nine levels deep here. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay. And what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that the means? The where? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. 237, Perhaps beware. its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. It's the code to get in. I'm guessing. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. I have so much to do. All by yourself? Oh! Ah. No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and- We're coming with you. My friends! Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait she's so the exit, in case you need to upgrade your she's gear. so ungrateful she's so ungrateful Aloy mom says bring your friends oh beware yeah 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 mm, I wonder maybe they are there truly maybe Zenith and Eleuthia is there maybe it's a, maybe it's a double whammy I should, especially after that freaking issue I had fighting that dang neb slither thing. This will increase my resistance to elemental damage. I don't know if I should be focusing on that or if I should be 
trying to spread out my my abilities. Especially since I could keep getting thrown into pits. I hate it. It happened in the last game too. Oh, I don't like being thrown into pits. I'm an infiltrator trapper. I'm a stealth trapper. I don't want to be thrown into a pit. And most of these machines, you can't melee fight them. But the big ones, you can't melee fight those suckers. I I would love to see a YouTube video, honestly, of somebody meleeing these giant machines. Because, like, that's ridiculous. I will, I think, upgrade this. Excellent. Triggering an elemental state with a direct hit causes an elemental blast. Ooh. I still haven't used, actually, my... This. Where I get to instantly launch a set of hovering mines around me. I haven't been able to use that yet. Someday. Someday soon. I need more credits from these Dingnab missions. Honestly. Level 25, I am... My goodness. I think it already accounted for all those. Yep, yeah, okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one here. Who knows how long any of these episodes are. Some of them are probably extremely short. Some of them are probably very long. <laughs> I hope, regardless, that they've been fun to watch. That I've managed to somehow make my brain come together and edit something fun. Um, this will potentially be the last episode for a little bit because I'm going to be a wandering and not come into my sisters quite as much, hopefully, and bothering them. So we'll see how that goes. I'll try to make a video if, what, well, well, you know, worse comes to worse and I end up not being able to upload for a while. But I just wanted to give you guys a warning just in case. So thank you all so much for watching and supporting me. I really appreciate it very much. So really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sampling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And Christopher, my free tier patron, you are the super bestest, and I really do appreciate all your support. And thank you so much. <laughs> um, so thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.